starting from, we're going back one simon. I thought this simon was in Hilchus Yom Kippur. It's actually in Hilchus Rosh Hashanah, but it's it's a Hilchus Yom Kippur subject. Okay, so we're we're in. Um, Recording in progress. Let him plug it in. Chazor is always important. <laughs> okay, tough Reish Gimel. I believe this is an important Nakuda which must be exp- explained and hazard over. Um, probation. What does it mean somebody's on probation? They're watching him. How is a person supposed to act when he's on probation? Appropriately? Carefully. Oh. What's the di- what's the difference between the two? You don't have the margin for error. Oh, right, right. So in other words, appropriately isn't enough. Right? Appropriately means, uh, but you're what's called bekavenet. You're uh, a marked man, right? That's uh, they say it, and therefore we're going to be extremely strict with you, and you have to act better than expected. That's right. So now, do we expect a person that's on probation after he's finished probation to continue acting like he was when he was on probation? Yes. <laughs> I'm not talking about these days. I'm talking about Shanam Tikikunam like 30 years ago. <laughs> no, no, it's conceptually. I'm asking a question conceptually. Sure. You do? You think so? He should act the same way as he, uh, as he did. I mean, he's out now. Uh, but when he gets reinstated... So he's going to go act his old ways? Uh, I don't tell him. This is, this is not, this is not, this is not fair. We did not, we did not, I did not explain myself properly. Oh, okay. Person acted delinquent. And therefore he was incarcerated. And then he pleaded and they put him on probation. Now he acts as better than an average citizen. He finishes probation. Do we expect him to continue acting as a better than average citizen or as an average citizen and just not go back to being delinquent? That was my question, okay? No, 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 no. I'm an unofficial guy. I want to know the real answer, not official answers. Is what? Alcohol is anonymous. They sit down and they get an old person, you take a drink once in a while, they'll be good. 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 And being that you see you have a propensity, so you need to take more precautions. I'm talking about when he's in a get to Shemaim and he didn't get plastered. And he just acted, he drank like everybody else, or whatever it was. He did, you know, he just did the same amount of monkey business as uh, what's called acceptable in society. What? The typical guy. The typical guy, yeah. Okay. Um... Is that okay? What's the question? The question is, when the person goes on probation, is this a life's project or it's a time project and after that he is reinstated in a society and not expected to be better than the average person? That's the question. This is a secular law question or a law question? A, a, a Torah he's about hashkafa. He's a, he's a now. He's on a higher level. That's what he should say. No, I'm not this, uh, that's what he should say, but perhaps. Perhaps I accept that. I accept that as a, uh, but that has nothing to do with the subject that we're talking about. In other words, I'll ex- explain. No, this is a very important nakuda, because that has nothing to do with what he did a avera ni de tshuva. Anybody who has risen to a higher level should always continue to be on the higher level. Nothing to do with the inadequacies which he did that caused him to become a bal tshuva. That it's irrelevant to that. My question is as follows. I'll tell you where I'm going. 
And this is an age-old question, and I would really, I, I think it has to be understood because people hear the question and hear the answer every year, and I don't think that they get it. were Makberam Paspalter, and Matsuyam Kippur were back to regular. Is that hypocritical or not? Yeah. What? I hope not. That's that's we'll start off over there, right? Because that's what Klaiso does. Why is that not hypocritical? Sheffer just raised a good point. You already were oiler to Madrega. How can you take a step down? I'm gonna be Makbe Al Khov Yisrael and I say she may chuva. Comes Matsu Yom Kippur. Give me a Kit Kat. Right? Give me I don't know, whatever whatever is a curious. I, you what? Yeah, but this, this is you're, you're sitting in the palace of the king, or the king is in the field, whichever way you want to look at it. You have to behave differently when, than when the king is more distant. That's oh, not, oh, okay. So now, one second. So it's this not, is it's not probation. It's because of your proximity. Uh, uh, no, here actually is because of probation. Because no, uh, the, it's, it's, it's a probation issue. No, it's because your your Akash Baruch Hu is is looking at you and you're you're uh, you're under scrutiny. It's his proximity. To you. No, it's not only your proximity. It's not only that you're under scrutiny. It's two different things. It's not just because you're. It's not because you're you're by the king. I don't think you're under scrutiny. You are under scrutiny, but it's it's a different thought. The thought is that you that you can become closer. Hashem gives you that opportunity to become closer to Him during Aser Simei Tshuva. Yeah. The opposite. The opposite. And after I want to say, after Aser Simei Tshuva, have we distanced ourselves from Hashem? We should have gotten closer. No, it's good. Officially, no, right? <laughs> oh, no. We should have gotten closer. And we did. Christian. Don't be such a pessimist. Okay. I know, but but then we go back to our old ways. You're right. No. I know, no. No. No, we're not expect. No, this is, this is, we're this is what. Nila, don't leave, don't leave the o for, don't leave the low. We're, we're changing modes here. Oh, so different modes. I want to tell you something. From the Mamore Chazal that I find the most beautiful, intriguing, and mind-boggling, and understandable all at once, is that an Amoretz, doesn't lie on Shabbos because Amos Shabbos alov. This is like it's it's such a beautiful thought. You could be an Amoritz. Shabbos? Now lying and Shabbos have seemingly nothing to do with each other. But on Shabbos to lie? Right? Don't we all understand uh, emotionally our attacker understands that we're on Shabbos we're closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and how could you lie on Shabbos? Even though lying and Shabbos have nothing to do with each other, but they have everything to do with each other at the same time. So even the Amoritz doesn't lie on Shabbos. It's not like a beautiful halacha. You know, right? So, is there something wrong with lying during the week? Perhaps. Is something wrong with lying on Shabbos? More. Right? You understand what I'm saying? Amos Shabbos means it demands a different um, response, a different attitude, a different lifestyle. Aser Simei Tshuva demands that we be machmer. That is not necessarily a statement of self, it's a statement of situation. Aren't you really fooling yourself? This is this is this is exactly the point I'm saying. No. Can I ask you a question? There's a book that was written. Um, I read this when I was a bacher. It was a famous book. I didn't really enjoy the book, and I didn't even get the book, even though I think I got it as well as everybody else. It was about life in the yeshiva world before the Second World War. The person who wrote the book, his grandson, happens to live here in Aleph Mechemesh. And uh, this bocher had to go on a date. The mashkiach set him up with a girl. Now, this is a bocher in Europe, 1935. So he borrowed a tie from one person, a watch from somebody else, a decent hat from a third person, and the mashkiach inspected him and sent him off to go. This is the way the book ends. 
So he says to the Mashkiach, I don't understand. You tell us the whole time that we're supposed to be living MS, and this is how you send me off? Well, that's the end of the book. Now, if I remember correctly, that's the end of the book. Is there a kasha? A girl goes on a date, so she puts on makeup. Isn't that stupid? Mitch they're going to get married and <laughs> wake up in the morning and she's just not going to look like that, right? So maybe perhaps we should go on dates with no makeup. What's wrong with my question? Which way is better? That's, that's the, which one is the real me? <laughs> it's the real me. I just don't have the means to have the nice hat and jacket and tie. But I... That is me. I would. I would. I, 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 I'm going to tell you something. Okay, I'm going to answer this question. And this is this is really important, but it's a little bit incorrect for the the nimshal. I'm going to answer this question. I used to be a rebbe in yeshiva for modern boys. Once a week, I, and I gave them once the following speech. I said it's very important to marry a pretty girl. I'm not arguing for whatever reasons. For whatever reasons, those reasons are good reasons. They're valid. It's good you should marry a pretty girl. What are you planning to do in 40 years? Divorce her and get a new wife? Like, what's, what's the game plan? What are you thinking? So once you have that picture in your mind when you get married, that picture is what stays in your mind. You I, four hope, years later, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, you, you still have I want to tell you something. You know, you know it's, it's, you know, yeah, it's because of the relationship, so but okay. you have that picture I'll, 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 Listen, let's parrots. You I hope that not, you're wrong. Parrots, you I'm going to answer the question, and you're going to see that what I said puts both of you in the proper perspective. Moshul lemoha dover Person likes chocolate. I heard that there are people who have that, that vice. And you walk into the candy store, and you see this new bar of chocolate. It has this really pretty wrapper on it. looks very nice. So you know what? Let's try it. And you try it. Check the answer. And you try it. I said it looks good. No, and you try it, and it's a superb, a super chocolate bar. Now you have a new chocolate bar, and everything's everybody's buying this new chocolate bar. This stupid company, after two years, they hire some high tech guy to make a new wrapper, and they make this really retarded wrapper. Do you look for a new chocolate bar? Why not? Because I don't buy chocolate bars cause of rappers. This actually has the come on, the come on is the rapper. But that's not the chocolate bar. If your marriage after 40 years is still dependent on the rapper, you're not married. It's a mistake. It's a mistake. It doesn't mean that it's not nicer, better if the rapper is still is beautiful. It's not important. It has become very much in the recesses of your mind, if your marriage is takim. Okay? That's, that's, I, think that, I don't think I said anything which everybody doesn't know. Okay? So it's true. It's important to marry a pretty girl because you got to get over the bumps. You got to get into the relationship. But after the relationship, it becomes much more negligible. It fades, just like all other things. So when you go on a date, so you want that subtle things that are not really important be'etzem shouldn't mess up the encounter. So you dress yourself up to get past those obstacles. Are we in agreement? Yeah. Welcome back. Yes. <laughs> okay, no, no, this is a very important nakuda, right? right? So now, all that is true. That's like you go on a business meeting, so you dress for the occasion, whatever it is, and you and, and because you put you n n nobody thinks that that's how you really are. First impressions. It's not. It's not. It's not only first impressions. You have to do what due diligence. You have to do proper. What for? What's, what's expected of you? And and now when a person is in a situation where he knows that he's being looked at with a magnifying glass, he's expected to act better. 
when he's not going to be looked at with a magnifying glass, he's expected not to necessarily be as good. So when we're in Aser Simei Tshuva, where our relationship is intense, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is being Mevaker Ar Maisim, it demands us to act on a higher than ourselves level. Now what does that mean, a higher than ourselves level? I would love to always be on that level, but I'm not always on that level. At least I should be able to pass through the season being there. And it's not that afterwards we fell down. We were propped up, psyched up for a certain situation and we were expected to be. And if you didn't feel the Amos Hadin, if you didn't feel the need to respond to HaKadosh Baruch Hu stretching out his hand to you, you're out for lunch. This is the way it is. So the, we're obligated to do Chumras not because just um, just because we want to get more points. That's not the point. We want to polish our relationship. What about your original question now? So I'm going to answer the question. You're not expected to act after, after probation as you did during probation. You're not. It's true what, what he said, that a smaller infraction below the norm, you'll be slammed quicker a second time offender. But as long as you're within the norm, that's okay. That's okay. You're supposed to take something on that you continue doing, aren't you, for the rest of the year? Well, that's the lesson. No. That's a Kabbalist for Rosh Hashanah. I'm not talking about, so I'm, telling you, I'm not talking about Kabbalist for Rosh Hashanah. I'm talking about the Chumris. Let's, let's see the Loch inside. Now this is a very important Nakuda as we enter, we, as we enter Yemei Rachamim Vaslichus. Af mi she'eno nizim e pas kusim ba aseris Yemei Tshuva. What? Kama? Is it supposed to be Mishon Nizar Kama by Sersim Can, but the same thing. Even though you're not Makvid a whole year, in a Sersim Chuva, you're supposed to be Zohir. So the question is you think you're fooling Hashem? Hashem knows you're going to go back after a Sersim Chuva to your entomans. Everybody knows what's going on. So who are you fooling? No one. The time is Machai of you to do this. To be more Zahir. Okay. Now. Um, but isn't that also to train you to... That's a side benefit. That's a side benefit. That's not the point. That is true. But that's a side benefit. I was, I was like this. Someone who's been like in this champion sport game, he has the adrenaline rush. He can put on a superhuman effort for a short time. Right. So it starts to make sure that you have your spiritual adrenaline rush. You can do it for 10 days, you can do it. But you're not going to be able to do that. I, 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 for, I, I, for I tell you that's true, but that's not the point over here. The point over here is that there's no reason to be doing it, so to speak, after. That's also true. And there's many things that, you know, Halavai HaKabos last us to Simchus Torah. Halavai HaKabos last us to Hanukkah. You know, Halavai, uh, no, it's, I'm, 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 that idea is true also. But that is a L'Chathchila and the B'Diyavit situation. The situation that he's talking about is a Simei Tshuva demands a higher level than the rest of the year. Period. Period. You know, it's in the Olam Yeshivas, in the Olam Yeshivas, um, where I went to Yeshiva, in Elzman there's an extra Musa Seder. Regularly there's one Musa Seder a day, Elul there's two Musa Seders a day. Why? Because that's the focus of the time. Not only that, the Birke Yosef, from my favorite Birke Yosef, says as follows. In the Yemei Slichas, 
even the Lamdanim who sit and learn a whole day should take time off of learning and learn Sifre, Yira, and Musa. Because that's the Mitzvah Sayyim. In other words, in English, he said, Talmud Torah Kenege Kulo. You're really taking a step down. But that's what you're supposed to be doing now. Is that not Talmud Torah? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's Talmud Torah. I, I don't think it's Talmud Torah. In other words, a person who... Um, let, let's... let's, uh, let's it, there's, there's what you're saying, what you're saying right now, I think is where Rabbi Yisrael Salanter came to argue on. There's what's called Yidiyas Hamusr. And that's Tamil Torah. You know, you learn the Sosisharam, you know everything that it says. And then there's working on yourself. You sit on your bed before you go to sleep at night, before you say Vidui, and you go through that, which you did that day. And I said, does this fit with that which is said in the Sosisharam? Is that Tamil Torah? When I sit and I... It's, it's not appli- it, 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 it's application of Talmud Torah it could be but that's not Talmud Torah it's, you're right now you're saying Tikka Lamidus I, I got mad at this person why did I get mad at this person because I think that person uh, owes me a favor does he really owe me a favor he really owes the Takanish Baruch Hu, and I have no right to demand it this is Talmud Torah I don't think it's Talmud Torah this is what the Chavetz Chaim did he spoke to himself that's self building Right now, how do we know how to build? That's from the Torah. That, you must have said that you did. You, that's what you did, or you did from a sefer. It depends when. When I was in yeshiva, and I had to. I did it a sefer, and when I didn't, I did part by sefer, part by not. And most of my Muslim storm that were very productive were silent of much words. It depends at which stage. You know, you have to be at different stages in life. The way how you how. You, but, but I will just quote the following. It's a beautiful story. And I remember it was a Sesame Chuva or in Elul, Rabbi Yapyan came to Yeshiva to say a shmuz. And the shmuz is at 7 o'clock. And he walks into Beis Medish 5 to 7. And the place is rocking. They have mamash learning Musa on the top of their lungs. And Rabbi is sitting there beaming watching this. Comes 7 o'clock. And he lets them continue learning. 7.02, 7.05 and he's usually a very on-time person and so I realized that he just better get up there he gets up there and as soon as he gets up there it becomes quiet like a pin, you can hear a pin drop and Rebella said if I would have known it could be quiet that quickly I would have started on time There's ways that a person, I'll just share with you, about 20 years ago, um, Rav Brevda spoke someplace on Tisha B'Av night. Tisha B'Av was a Matzah Shabbos, and he gave a blistering speech before Echa. He said, I came here, and I saw that the Olam was charged, and the Borchu and the Omen Yeshmei Rabba was appropriate for Yom Naroyim, not for Tisha B'av. We connect HaKadosh Baruch Hu differently on Tisha B'av. Don't scream a man, Yehesh Me Rabbat HaKadosh Baruch Hu, when he just chucked you out. You have to say a man, Yehesh Me Rabbat, where you're supposed to be. You're not where you're supposed to be. You guys are missing out what Tisha B'av is about. That was his you know, like a 20 minute piece on that this is, wasn't the original piece uh, it was worthwhile coming tonight just to hear that right? no no it's our, our responses have to relate to our relationship and our relationships revolve around the calendar and it demands sometimes different things from us different avayna so there's sometimes when HaKadosh Baruch Hu says you know you tell your kid if you don't do this you're not going to get this prize and the kid doesn't do it so you wait for the kid to plead with you who said, I'm not going to get it, I'm not going to get it. How does the parent feel? The parent wants to give it. He wants the kid, right? Okay, Kodesh Baruch Hu, so just judge me. Whatever I did, that's fine. You think that's what Kodesh Baruch Hu wants? That's a relationship? We want to see you trying your best to get the most out of it. 
Okay? Anyways, this, I believe it's a very important Nakuda. So yes, we're supposed to make Kabbalists in the beginning of the year, and they're supposed to hopefully last for the rest of our lives. Well, again, well, I've forgotten. Why do we call this period a Seder Shemay Teshuvah when Rosh Hashanah itself is a time when you don't mention Teshuvah at all? It's like claiming the Shemaz Melech. So do we really only eight days of Shemoni and Eid I think the answer I've forgotten. Uh, there are many answers to this question, and I'm going to tell you um, perhaps the most important Yisoyed in Teshuvah which you will ever hear unless you hear it from me a different time. I try to say this as often as I can. You have a mistaken understanding of what tshuva is. Most people think that if you did an Avera, you do tshuva. The fact that we perceive that we exist in this world means that we have separated ourselves from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The more that we see, perceive that we are we are closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We have returned to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Therefore, the Ga'inim, just use an example, the Tshuva Sa'ga'inim, they did Tshuva every day, that they didn't feel as close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu yesterday as they did today. Isn't that ridiculous? Yesterday, they did it to their maximum. And they know tomorrow, they're going to do Tshuva on what they did today. So am I doing something wrong right now? You're not doing an Avera, but you're still berichuk. Tshuva means becoming closer. Obviously, from the greatest ways to damage your relationship and to create a rechuk is by Averas. So therefore, when you did an Avera, you have to do Tshuva. But that's, that's an expression of your relationship. That is not the avoid of Tshuva Be'etzah. Even a tzaddik gomor does tshuva. You still have to become closer to Hashem. And this is no, no. This is a very important. But averus is the worst. That's that's that, that's the that that's the worst. Um, uh, you know, chasm that, that that can happen in our relationship. You you know you. I just. I'll just tell it to you in the simplest of forms. Uh, for the Mashon that I love is that when a lady steps on a cockroach, she puts a tissue on the cockroach first and then she steps on it. Because somehow um, that makes a disconnect. Okay, okay. Let's say that we, are, let's say that we agree, with, we understand this concept. In order for a person to do an Avera, he has to put a tissue on a Kaddish Baruch Hu to make him not exist. If you would see a Kaddish Baruch Hu here, then you would not do an Avera. So in order to do an Avera, you had to gotten rid of a Kaddish Baruch Hu. Of course you have to do Tshuva. I'll just share with you, on my way here, I spoke to my brother-in-law, and um, we had a discussion about something about Tshuva and he told me that he was he was a Talmud in Berlin when uh, Rav Huttner was in uh, uh, Shavui in Jordan and he came back five, five days before Shana he had the hijack, famous hijacking and um, he said, my mom will see people who do after this, everybody's going to come. So he changed. He usually said, it's my morim on weekdays. So that first year, he said, all of his morim on Rosh Hashanah and on Yom Kippur. So there should be no outsiders there. And the, he told me over, some way here today, he told me over from Rav Hutner, his mimer that he said on Yom Kippur that year, which is not recorded anywhere. As he just said, right now he was here and I saw spoke to Rios and David and was Ma'asher, that this is exactly what Rav Hutner said. He said that a person, the Rambam says a person doesn't have Yiras Chet is going to do sins. And Rav Hutner explained that every human being has built into him a safety thing. We don't go around cutting our hands. We don't go around cutting our heads off. 
we have built in a safety device to protect ourselves, that we shouldn't damage ourselves. A person who has yiras chet, so he envisions that doing an Avera is destroying his body, he will consistently not do Averas. It may not be the highest Madrega, but it makes it like the Yetzirah, Koydem Achet. It's going to destroy my physical body. This is what an Avera does. This is what Avera does, and this is what you have to do Tshuva on. All right, anyways, so when a person is more machmer, the two things that happen, one, we see that you care, and the other, it actually strengthens your relationship. All right. You're supposed to, on your wife's birthday or your anniversary, I don't know, whatever religion you belong to, I don't know that Terry discusses either of these two, so you're supposed to show a greater amount of appreciation for her. Is that true? One second. It shouldn't be true. No, no, no. Is it true or it isn't true? Yes, it's true. And even if you show appreciation the whole year? Yes. Why? It's a special day. You go your life. So are you a hypocrite when after your birthday you go back to the regular? No. Welcome aboard. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see the, uh, the mission puro over here. Um, okay. Mikamokam, I'm reading in the middle, by the Gimel. Mikamokam, Misha Holech by Derech, the main of the fun of Pas Yisrael, Ad Yisrael, Me Arba Milin. Mikamokam, Shua, I made me write to Lecha, Mutu Lecha, Pas Palter. There's no Isser in Halacha that says he made Tshuva more than the rest of the year. This is just a, pro- a proper practice to do. Um, Kamosha Mutu Bishaya, Moisa Shana. Just like a person who's nizek kol ashana in certain dire situations, he's not mechuyiv to over be mishtal to get pas yisrael. So too, when I say she made tshuva, you're not mechuyiv to because this is just an expression of proper conduct that we're trying to do. Um, all right, now let's continue. Says the Aramo. Now this is extremely important we're about to say right now. Why is that? Says the Ramo. Now, I have a question on this, but let's just finish. You have to pay a larger amount for a korban ashom than you, ashom toloi, than you do for a chatas, because we have to um, get you to do more tshuva, because you don't have proper remorse because we always look at ourselves in a good light that perhaps we didn't do it. Does any of this make sense? I'd like to explain the difficulty in this piece. This piece is difficult, I think, for like three different reasons. First of all, you don't need more tshuva on a Sophic Avera. It's just harder to do it. What does it mean you need more tshuva? Do you need more tshuva? Yeah, but that's not that right. But but the question: Do you need more tshuva or not? Do you, do you have to get up more on time a night when you went to sleep late than in the morning than the night went to sleep on time? <laughs> well, you don't have to get up here. We're saying you have to do more, right? Correct. So that's the chore. That's all that it means. It doesn't mean. Doesn't mean that what? Right, right. So that's that's first. You have to understand that that's that's what it's saying. It means that if, if you're unaware that you did something wrong, it shows there's a lack of your really making it important enough. To well, it depends what the avera was. I'm talking about, I'm talking about no, your person, a person ate a piece of meat, and now he found out it could have been chaylev, it could have been it could have been shuman. 
right, but it's so brings, something he could have known. Why? Why does that he said he could have known? If it's the total onus. Does not onus. He was, right. wasn't sure if he did it or not. I'm not sure if I did it or not. So I have to bring a carbon. I have to bring a carbon. Ashram, Ashram Tali. I don't know. It will be Mavar, and that's what we'll, later on we'll find out. They'll have to bring a chatas, and the carbon Ashram is only Megan until we find out whether he did it or didn't do it. You know, we'll go find out. So now, now, um, so this is a, a question. Baatzim, does it really mean what it says, or is it just a uh, as 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 Gil said? It's just it's harder to do. So now we have to do it, or. Is there a nakuda of how a person relates to that which he did? If there's a way out, I don't even see the way that I that it was wrong that it's the same. No, it could be, but being that there was a tzad that it was mutter, I don't see that even the tzad that it was also it was so bad. There was always a tzad that it was mutter. So the other side of this book, there could be that that's not called such a big infraction on our uh, connection to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That's a, one of the possible answers. Okay, we'll, we'll stop over here. Well, that's it. We'll just, we'll, you know, all right, we'll stop over here.